。二十年前，卡伊达恐怖组织在美国发动自杀式攻击，震惊全球。九一一恐怖袭击之后，我国的反恐行动从未停止。二零零一年十二月八号起，内部安全局对阿斯兰的同伙展开逮捕行动，先后逮捕了二十三人进行盘问，其中十三人被发现是回教祈祷团的活跃分子，他们参与寻找我国潜在的攻击目标和制造炸弹的后勤工作。My one one just happened. And nobody ever imagined that things like that will have anything to do with Singapore. All of a sudden, they say, "Eh, we have a group like this in Singapore. Number two, they are Singaporeans. Number three, they want to attack Singapore." So I think what these three things were something psychologically for many Singaporeans. They found it so unacceptable. We always talk about bombs here and bombs there. All of a sudden, this narrative, which was for others, Was brought back home. 内安局的调查显示，回击团早在上世纪九十年代中就已经计划攻击新加坡。他们锁定我国将近八十个目标，并对其中好几个地点进行侦查。这包括：一九九七年，一名本地回击团成员策划攻击载有美军人员和家属的接驳巴士。他们用摄像机记录来往于义顺地铁站和三八旺码头的路线。二零零一年，在阿富汗发现的四张笔记画有义顺地铁站和周围的详细地图。阿拉伯文的笔记也包括接驳巴士的来往频率和我国交通系统的资料。这些是新加坡的回击团成员在一九九九年用来给卡伊达组织领导汇报的内容。The fact that in the nineties we didn't even know they existed, but they were planning. They were planning. Partly because they were still finding their own feet. 内安局的调查也发现，回击团当中有人跟来自海外的人士有联系，打算利用卡车炸弹攻击新加坡的美国和以色列大使馆和美国公司的商业大楼。这些攻击原定在二零零一年十二月进行，当时回击团成员已经着手购买十七公吨用来制造炸弹的原料。所幸他们及时被捕，奸计才没有得逞。It is very difficult to detect GI members because、uh, even if you detect one of them, you cannot expose the entire network.、Uh, they have a very decentralized cell structure.、Uh, they communicate uh, uh, through uh, private networks. 此外，回教祈祷团也曾经计划要把国防部总部炸毁。他们的终极目标是要通过暴力手段在东南亚建立回教国。回击团的根据地在印度尼西亚，触角同时伸向新加坡、马来西亚、菲律宾南部和文莱。新加坡回击团由一名叫汉巴里的重要头目指挥。汉巴里这个人有多危险呢？他是主导策划2002年印尼巴厘岛爆炸案的首脑。他原本打算在我国和马来西亚之间制造敌意，希望趁乱推翻两国的政府，来建立他的回教国。而其中一个计划就是炸毁连接新马的输水管。回击团的新加坡分支也把资金从新加坡输出，进入汉巴里控制的圣战基金，用来资助武装分子到阿富汗和菲律宾南部接受训练和购买武器炸药。此外，汉巴里也是回击团和卡伊达组织的联系人，可以说回击团是卡伊达组织在东南亚的附属组织。In the case of Saudi Asia, it was Hambali. That's why Hambali is still in Guantanamo today, for that simple reason. He was the go-to man for all the operations in Saudi Asia. So the orders, the money, and so on and so forth for attacks in Saudi Asia was through Hambali. Singapore 回击团的分支是由伊布拉辛麦丁创立和领导。一九八八到一九八九年间，伊布拉辛向当时回击团的最高领导阿布巴卡宣誓效忠。伊布拉辛九十年代领导新加坡回击团时，在本地招募了不少成员。Ibrahim he is not、uh, trained in religious ideology, but he has these、uh, religious sermons、uh, in his private residence. So he used a very、uh, secretive method to recruit. 
uh, new recruits. So um, as, as such, uh, it's very difficult to detect uh, potential uh, terrorists in Singapore. 除了策划袭击，回旗团的新加坡分支也给成员武装训练和军事战术，有些成员甚至购买相关书籍作为参考。一九九九年，马士沙拉莫·马斯斯拉马接替伊布拉辛领导回旗团的新加坡分支。二零零一年十二月，回旗团成员被捕后，马士沙拉莫潜逃到柔佛。为了报复，他曾经计划集结从泰国曼谷飞来我国的班机，撞向樟宜机场的控制塔。所幸内安局得知阴谋后，通过海外伙伴得到美国联邦航空管理局的协助，发布警告，及时阻止袭击发生。Mas Lama he went to train in Afghanistan in '93 with Osama bin Laden forces, but later on in '97-'98. Mas Lamat went to Taliban Afghanistan to learn how to implement the Taliban system in Singapore. 目前还有四名回旗团成员被内安局拘留，包括马士沙拉莫。To put it in very stark terms, if you release them, our assessment is they will do harm because they haven't changed their belief that fundamentally this system of government and this society is anti-Islamic. That's their view. And they want to change it, and they want to change it by violence. So we work with the Islamic scholars. They have to assess if the detainees change their views, and they are safe to be in society. Nothing we would like more than to release them. Li Xinlong 总理指出，如果回旗团计划的攻击真的发生。那我国多年来辛苦建立的和谐社会，我们的凝聚力将受到严重冲击。逮捕恐怖分子只是反恐作战的一个环节，后续的改造也同样重要。广告回来继续关注。